So a lot of controversies with the DC Universe with James Gunn. We will begin with what is relatively well confirmed and then move into very interesting, if bad, speculations and how James Gunn has corrected some people on certain issues. What we sort of do know very firmly that apparently Patty Jenkins and her version of Wonder Woman 3 will not be going forward. They don't like her version of the script. They wanted certain changes to be made. Patty refuses to make those changes, so apparently she is gone. It's not completely official yet, but apparently Wonder Woman 3 with Patty Jenkins is done. It is dead. That does not mean Gal Gadot is finished with Wonder Woman. She may be continuing as Wonder Woman, if not for much longer, but at least Wonder Woman 3, its original incarnation, is now dead in the water. And then we move into more speculative territory about what will happen with Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, and some other major stars, and the quote, big projects with Man of Steel 2, those also may not be happening. But for whatever reason, certain people on YouTube really went crazy and put out these bizarre rumors and tweets, and we're going to concentrate on just one person, who is Josh of Den of Nerds, who's notorious for being a friend and ally of Star Wars Theory, one of the biggest YouTubers on Star Wars, and recently Theory got himself into a lot of trouble complaining about Andor, which is totally legitimate, but the nature of complaints was not legitimate. He complained that there were bricks and screws in Andor, and me and many other Star Wars fans and experts corrected him and said, no, there are screws and bricks. Even Theory himself was forced on his stream to concede, yeah, there are screws. Uh, there are screws in Luke Skywalker's saber. But for whatever reason, Josh supported Theory in his delusional speculations that maybe there weren't screws and bricks. So that's the context, and for no reason at all, he tweeted that he thought James Gunn doesn't like Henry Cavill. And it all seemed fine, even as a legit rumor. Maybe this is true, maybe it's not true. Someone decided to contact James Gunn while on Twitter, and James Gunn definitively answered, no, that's not true. I like Henry Cavill just fine. I have no issue with Henry Cavill. That's simply a false rumor. And there we go. And this is pretty good news for Henry Cavill fans, who I am one of them. So it seems like he will continue as the Man of Steel in some capacity. Maybe not the Snyderverse version, but he will continue as Superman. So at least that part is now seemingly safe and secure. That would have been the end of it, but except Josh kept going and said, Bro, um, this makes me think you really don't like Henry Cavill, because more people are telling me you don't like Henry Cavill. And James Gunn got more vicious and severely insulted him and said, Oh, you really know stuff, don't you? Maybe you need to move out the basement. But for now, he's saying, for the record, no, I like Henry Cavill. You're not well informed. I don't know who these sources are, but don't believe them. Believe me, James Gunn, who is now the co-chair of running the DC Universe. And there we are. And Josh did not provide any evidence. He didn't say who the source was. He just said, I just heard a thing. And this thing tells me uh, you don't like Henry Cavill. And James Gunn does have some credibility. He has confirmed many things. We still need to know a little bit more about what will happen with the DC Universe. Again, there are a lot of legitimate speculations we can make based on what he's tweeted and about certain sources. And at least those legitimate articles we can cite and say, okay, maybe we can go here and there. But Josh just tweeted this thing out of nowhere saying James didn't like Henry Cavill. Why? Don't know. And then when he got challenged, and was being pushed back on, to be fair, on Twitter, he just started to say, oh, jokingly, oh, I didn't really mean that, guys. And why is James Gunn so triggered? I was just having some fun. So apparently he got caught red-handed, spewing a lot of false rumors by the man himself, and just refused to concede he was wrong, and just put out more tweets saying, oh, guys, I was just joking all along. Okay. So was Siri joking about the screws and bricks? You didn't think it was joking. You thought the fans were being toxic for correcting him. So which is it? Are we living in delusional land where you can say anything you want? Speculations are okay for him and Siri, and they can make money spreading these false rumors or misrepresenting the mythology about these various IPs. But if other people do it, no, 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 that's bad. That's very wrong. That's very wrong. Spreading rumors about them, that's bad. That's toxic. But them spreading rumors about other people, that's fine. That's good. 
Let's make some money on YouTube on that. So at least we know a few things now. Henry Cavill and James Gunn have no issue with one another. If there are rumors about that, apparently they are false. So Henry Cavill will probably continue as Superman. And the days ahead, James Gunn will clarify more things. But I think it's been proven that Josh is just not very reliable. He is willing to lie. He's willing to gaslight. And he's willing to put out just incredibly false and misrepresenting things. I guess for either money or for friendship. But either way, he's not to be trusted. Well, hopefully he'll be coming more responsible. But unfortunately, I'm fearful he's just going to continue with putting out delusional things and then blaming other people when he gets caught, unfortunately.